So when we start to think about palliative care, what do we mean? So I'd like to start by telling you some of the principles of palliative care. So a first most important principle is that palliative care puts the person before their disease. So we care about the, the disease or diseases that people have, but they're a person first and they may have many diseases and they may have other issues that are important for them. So we put the person first. The second important principle is that we consider the patient and their family or rather those close to the person who's ill as the unit of care. So a person and their friends, family, other people who are close to them is the unit of care and we would try and look after both of those, which would mean that we look after the person during their life and the family and those close to them during their life, but also we might be involved in looking after the family and friends and others after the person has died. And then the third important principle is that we try and look after the whole person. So we would think of physical, emotional, social, and spiritual aspects of the person. And increasingly, research that we've done has shown that uh, you also need to consider the responsiveness of the healthcare system in terms of how good the services are at joining up together, communicating, providing good information, and responding flexibly to the person's needs. Um, in the old definitions of palliative care, it used to be synonymous with end-of-life care, and that is no longer the case. Good palliative care will include care at the end of life, but as we realise that diseases have changed, and so people are living longer, often with more varied or complex conditions or multiple conditions, recognising the end of life is become more difficult and the end of life has become more transient. People can appear to be dying and then actually do quite well. So much more nowadays, palliative care gets involved where people have serious or progressive illnesses and will often be involved earlier in the illness. And the latest models of care, which are ones that have been tested by ourselves in, in London, for example, for people with neurological conditions or with breathlessness, we find that actually a short-term palliative care will go in and help sort things out and then might back out again having set things up for the person, possibly got the symptoms controlled, sorted out some kind of financial benefits or a family crisis, maybe even made a plan for if things do get worse. And then actually we won't be neat anymore and we'll back out.